Everybody ready? Okay, well, you all know who I am, Dwayne Center, but I'm the membership. And I'm here to uh, talk to you a little bit this afternoon about an arrest that we've just made uh, today of a police officer, uh, Officer Julio Serpa. He's been with us since uh, October of 06, about seven years, seven and a half years. Um, earlier this month, um, there was an incident at a Bailey's gym where the, this officer went to work out when he was not working. Um, we were notified by them that uh, they had, on their video surveillance, uh, found somebody that was shoplifting some product from, well, I'm not familiar with Bailey's Gym, I've never been in one, but they have an area with some product that they sell and it's on shelves. Um, and, and they identified him as, as this officer, Julio Serpa. Uh, the integrity unit uh, began to work this with them. It was really pretty much all done by that point. Um, we, our detectives reviewed the video that they had, which shows uh, Mr. Serpa in his workout clothes with a backpack on him in the Bailey's Gym. Uh, he's at the, the area where there's product on shelves. Uh, there are cameras in the in this room. Um, you can see him on the video pick up this jar of some sort of cream. I'm not really sure if it's some sort of supplement uh, that he looks at for a while. And there are several people around, and he keeps kind of watching them. Uh, at some point, he does uh, put it back on the shelf, turns around, and looks back at where the other camera is behind him. Um, this goes on for several minutes. Um, Really looks like he's waiting for the area to clear out of people. He picks the jar back up again, and then ducks down behind the between the two counters where you can't see him from either camera. When he stands back up, there's nothing in his hand, and he turns around and walks out the door. Um, so that's what's happened, and uh, he was arrested and charged with petty theft. He's been taken over to the jail, and that's, I guess kind of what I got. And I probably left something out that you get questions on. Uh, Stephanie Brown, WOKV. Where does his employment status stand right now? Well, when, when this was brought to my attention uh, earlier this week that this had happened, um, we, we took away his police powers, his badge and gun, and, and reassigned him to Teleserve where they you know, take phone calls and that kind of thing. Um, and that's where he will remain as, while this case kind of works uh, through the system. So he's still actively working? He's working with no police power in a, in a, in a, um, in a position where he doesn't, he doesn't, he can't work state employment, he can't wear the uniform, he, can't carry, he doesn't have a badge and gun. Was there any indication in his personal life, I mean, no. any idea why he would have needed to steal something like this? I have no idea. Has, has, what, has he said anything about the charges of whether, whether or not? He, he made, uh, he originally said that, that uh, he told the girl in the Bailey's to put it on his account. But he very clearly on the video doesn't even look at the girl at the counter, and the girl at the counter says she doesn't even know who he is. So um, uh, I don't think that's the case. Um, about his uh, officer complaints, um, uh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid I don't know much about that. I guess you have a concise there or something. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that yet, so I don't even know what it says. Any indications he did this before? Not, no, and, and in fact, uh, uh, you know, not a lot of people knew that I was that we were working this up until you know the last day or two. And, um, and, and I don't personally know this officer, but I've had a couple people tell me that they did, and they were really surprised by that. So. My client's first question is, how disappointed are you that one of yours did this? You know, I'm very disappointed. I mean, we have to we have to have the public's trust, um, and and it's and it's disappointing when the people that we have out there to uphold the law are breaking the law. But what I'd say about that is, uh, you know, I've stood in front of you a few times since I've been the under sheriff and done this. Um, uh, we do have a, a unit, the integrity unit, that reports directly to me, that looks into every allegation, of criminal allegations, uh, against any member of this agency. And when we find that they've done something wrong, we them just like we treat everybody else when we arrest them for it. So. Will he be on the telecom serve until this uh, charge is resolved? Yes, yeah, teleserve is what we, we call the area down there. Uh, yes, we have a process we have to work through. You know, they're all civil service employees. They have a contract, and, and they have to sit. And the rules require that we do things a certain way. And on a uh, sometimes you'll probably know that if we arrest someone, we are able to suspend them right away. And it depends if it's a felony or a misdemeanor. This was a misdemeanor charge, so. Under the rules that we work by, uh, he has the right to to have that case work its way through before that happens. And so we'll we'll, um, we'll be working the criminal case and putting that together with everything that the state attorney's office might need, and then we'll start working the administrative case, and then we'll go from there. Derek Dillon, Times Union, uh, has he bonded out yet? I don't know. I mean, uh, I, I think it's been within the hour that he took him over to jail. Night. Are you aware of the exact value of the bottle of this cream? That Forty-nine dollars is what I was told. 
document, his division that he worked? Uh, he was actually a narcotics detective. Any other questions? I'm sorry, you said detective, not officer? Well, it's a lateral group, but we call them detectives and narcotics, and we call them officers on the streets. 